You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video. And by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys. hey guys, welcome to CES Live 2015. I'm Callie Lewis. I'm Scott Ellis. We're so excited to be here. I, I don't know about you, off. why are you? I'm not excited at all. Oh, gadgets. I'm not having fun at all. And it all just comes together at CES. <laughs> yeah, it really does. This, this really is Christmas. In fact, it, I did a poll on Google Plus and people agreed unanimously. This is the start of the Geek New Year. Nice. <laughs> I here like we are. it. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to keep the coverage going with fitness and wearables and all that good stuff with Basis. Hi, Jeff. Hi. Guys. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks. So, Basis is a company that most people will be familiar with, but for anybody who's not, Kind of tell us tell us who you are, how long you've been around, because it's been quite a while. It has been a while. So we launched the first Basis product, which was originally called the B1 back in 2012. Um, the thing that we were sort of most famous for at that point was doing heart rate continuously yes. as a part of understanding fitness, right? Trying to get something deeper, more deep insight than just your step counts, right? Um, really looking at physiology. So we did a device that had five sensors running all the time. You wore it on your wrist like a watch. It did steps counts, accelerometry stuff, motion detection, but it also did heart rate, perspiration, skin temperature, ambient temperature, and, and try to use all of that stuff to provide a better picture. And what I find interesting about how you guys started is that you were really focused on one thing. A lot of companies try and do a lot of different things, and you were focused so that now we see in the future, you've been able to take that and uh, kind of extend up beyond that, but with that as a hard base. Yeah, well, I mean, like many startups, you almost don't have a choice, right? You have to focus yes. in order to do something well. Um, what we took on was pretty complicated. <laughs> Doing this kind of physiology study from a device that you can wear on your wrist hadn't been done before. Uh, we're starting to see more people doing it now, which is pretty exciting, but back then it hadn't been done before. And the company as it was founded and the team that was there at the early days, I mean, we, we put the company together to figure out how to help people live healthier lives. It wasn't really about sensor technology, although that's clearly a component of what we do. It was what do we need to do to help people live healthier lives. Yeah. And that starts with understanding your health better to begin with. Okay. And it sounds like you have a device here that we're going to take a closer look at that yeah. gives us continuous feedback, something I can wear all day long. So one of the experiments I was thinking about doing when we came here was actually wearing my heart rate monitor all uh -huh. day. Yeah. <laughs> and I just decided that was going to be way too uncomfortable. Yeah, that's right. But wearing a yeah. watch or something like that could yeah. be could be pretty easy on me. So. Well, and since you bring up heart rate monitors, uh, I've actually done that exact thing. I've worn, worn a it all heart day long. rate monitor all day long just to that, see what that's, happens. That's hardcore. And track it against a fitness tracker. Right. And it it dips. You know, it doesn't it doesn't actually give you all that data um, because I, I found that it dipped and it lost some data along the way when I was really really still. Sure. Um, Talk to me about, well, about so that. Well, so let's about start with your basic that. insight that understanding your heart all day long would be really interesting, right? I mean, right. it is. The heart is, is maybe one of the best indicators, at least in looking at kind of data, tracking data, that we can look at to understand your health. So that intuition that you have of heart rate should be pretty interesting all day long mm -hmm. is exactly one of the things that was, that was at the foundation yeah. of basis originally, that idea of getting at heart rate all day long. The trouble is, the only other way to do that historically has been chest straps, and right. nobody and wants to wear a chest strap. I was all like, long. I was all yeah. like, by as half amazing the day, as they like, might be on your <laughs> run, uh, and you know they're purpose built, they're for your moment of exercise, and they're great at that. Exactly. But nobody wants to wear one all day long. So that's exactly why Basis was created to be able to do that and all those other sensors that I was talking about. But I think the the thing that's interesting is okay. Yes, you can track your heart uh, all day long and your step counts and your calories, etc. What we have found, and the, the value of doing that, besides just the curiosity for us data geeks, is we can use that heart rate data as a really informative additional input into understanding your calories burning. Mm -hmm. We can make our calorie algorithm more accurate than just a step counter, because we can use physiology. Same thing with sleep, we can track sleep automatically. You don't put basis in sleep mode when you lay down. You just lay down and go to sleep, and it can figure it out, because we're dealing with deeper data. See, that's brilliant. Go ahead. It, it is brilliant, but I'm curious because I know there are there are a lot of devices that do things like that. Mm. How does that actually work? How do I lay down and the, the device knows I'm asleep now? Well, we don't reveal too much about how our uh -oh. algorithms work. Well, secrets, but, secrets. But 
<laughs> the advantage of having a device with many sensors working is that you get to compare the data coming from multiple sensors, right? Okay. So when one sensor doesn't give you a complete picture, you can add in data from the other sensors to sort of enrich the picture. So we can look at not just, oh, you've been still for 27 minutes in a row now, so you're probably asleep, but right. what's happened okay. to your heart rate pattern at the same time? Okay. Um, okay. Put all that stuff together and, and better understand. Okay, that makes sense. And, and you have more sensors on there than a, a lot of the companies? That's right. So five sensors running all the time, 24 seven, heart rate, perspiration, skin temperature, ambient temperature, and then all that motion stuff that we were talking how, about. How does that add to, does it add to bulk? Does it not? Uh, to bulk? We, yeah. For size? Yeah, so I'm, I'm wearing one now, so you can get a sense of kind of what it looks like okay. in, looks you know, in, a close -up. in situ. Um, but this is Peak, this is the new Basis product, so this is uh, completely redesigned from the first Basis product that maybe people are most familiar yeah. with. The first Basis product, we jammed a whole bunch of technology in when we designed it several years ago. So it was, you know, it was sleek for its time, but it's pretty bulky. So one of the key design criteria for Peak was can we make it slimmer? Particularly okay. this dimension. Yes. Right? How proudly it sits off of your wrist. Make right. it sleeker in that dimension. Um, a few other things that we were really working on, you know, the original basis product was sort of Silicon Valley shiny plastic. Um, this is real metal and real glass. Nice. Uh, this is a touch screen now, so you can oh, very scroll oh, through really all, all of your- It looks really uh, responsive yeah, too. Yeah, it's very responsive. We can go this way. Of course, I'm coming at this. Um, I'm not wearing it, so it can't give you my heart rate right sure. now, but it can give you your totals for your step counts and calories for the day. Um, individual active events, so it automatically tracks your walks, your runs, your biking events with a technology we call Body IQ. Again, you don't put it in a mode, you don't log anything, you don't tell us you're going to get on your bike and ride, you just go and we figure it out. I really, really like that movement towards automated uh, understanding of what you're doing as a person because the sleep trackers, like Scott and I have had these conversations and Scott has said, okay, well, I go into sleep mode and I get these results and I, I know this about myself and about my sleep. And I'm like, I'm just never going to put it in that mode. <laughs> and, and even people who intend to forget either yeah. at the beginning exactly. or in the morning when they're supposed to take it out of sleep mode. The problem is I work until I'm exhausted yeah. and well, then exactly. I just fall asleep. Yeah, and we fall asleep reading email <laughs> or our Kindle right. or whatever it may be, yeah. So, exactly, we, everything that we do, everything that we track, we track automatically from the device. You don't put in any modes, you don't log anything, you don't record anything with us, um, and we think that's key. Yeah. But, but, as impressive as it is to track all of this stuff, the, the new uh, product that we've redesigned, the, the all new sensor set, in fact, maybe I'll just show you those real quick. Um, it's interesting, it's interesting how we get at heart rate, and, and everybody who does it via optical versus a chest strap, uh -huh. right? A chest strap uses electrical signal. We're using light, shining light into your skin, and I'll, I'll trick the device into thinking that I'm wearing it here for a second so you can see what that looks like. We're shining <laughs> light into your skin. Okay. Deeply enough to shine through your capillaries where your blood is flowing, right? Uh-huh. Ooh. And it's light flashing. is always going to bounce back, right? So right. as light does, some of that light bounces back, and we capture that reflection with an optical sensor. Okay. Interesting. So now what happens with light is, as blood is flowing through your capillaries, more light is absorbed. When there's less light, more light gets reflected back. And by seeing that, we can see your actual mm -hmm. blood flow. We can see your pulse. We can see your heart rate. So that's how we're getting at it, and that's the kind of technology where we can get at it all the time. But the thing that's most interesting to us is even if you can capture all of that data, even if you can show it 24-7, even if you can chart it and graph it in the most beautiful way, our experience for most users is that's really interesting for some novelty period. Maybe it's a week, maybe it's a month, depending on how into that kind of stuff you are. But for most people, that novelty period ends in a cliff. And mm -hmm. that's when the device goes back in the drawer, that's when they stop using it, you become right. less engaged with it, right? Maybe you just wear it on your weekend walks, whatever. So for us, the big challenge was not just the technology and what can we track and how much of the day can we track it, it's how do we get people to act on it? What do you do with the data once you have all of that to actually change people's lives? So we went from a real focus on charting and graphing, and we still have all of that. If you're into that kind of thing, it's in the product, but we moved toward this is really not just about tracking, it's about behavior change. So how do we introduce you to behaviors that you can adopt? We call them healthy habits, but they're routines. And our premise was we need to find healthy habits that we can introduce people to that actually fit in your real life. We don't pretend that we're gonna convince everybody to go to the gym five days a week because life is just too busy and pe people aren't gonna do sure. that. So how do we help you find moments of health, even recognizing that you have a busy schedule and you only got moments here and there. So we created this library of habits that you choose from the system intentionally rewards you for doing small things Let's routinely. See that. I can show you on the on the the mobile app here. While you're pulling that up, having that many sensors, what does that do to the battery life? What kind of so you'll get you'll get about four days okay. With, okay. with Peak. Um, so I'm showing you just one screen of the app right now. This happens to be my particular habits. 
Um, so there's a habit called don't be a sitter, which not surprisingly is about You're not sitting, sitting around. It's, it's, about, it's about not being sedentary. <laughs> uh -huh. There's a habit about getting sleep, okay. which I don't do a terribly good job at. There's a steps, there's several step related habits. Our habit library has things that are calorie related, sleep related, uh, being okay. sedentary or not being sedentary, being active. Um, move it is about getting your 30 minutes or 60 minutes, whatever okay. you set, just of activity per day. So you can set your levels, your You can set your goals, levels, but the important guides. thing is not setting the level really, Too really high. high. It's setting it so that you do it routinely. That looks that looks really uh, kind of intuitive and, and awesome to kind of develop habits just like you were talking about. I, I would really like to actually give that a try. What OS, what platforms is that working uh, on? Android and iOS. Android and yep, iOS. Okay. Uh, how much is the watch? 199. 199. It's available now? Yep, available okay. now. Awesome. Good to know. Well, thank you so Pleasure, much, guys. Jeff, thank you. Uh, for showing coming us. On. You bet. And you guys uh, will be able to see all of that and uh, get more information. Just keep your your link pointed to uh, geekbeat.tv slash CES live. Your link, you know what I mean. Yeah. It's day one. Your I'm browser. Already, I'm already messing up. You're just warming up. <laughs> We've got right. a long way to go. <laughs> uh, you know what? I think maybe in order to uh, pick myself up a little bit, I should steal one of the Eco Ricos that are over there. Ah, go for a little ride, go get the adrenaline a going a little bit. Get the hair or the air in the face. If you've never been on an Eco Rico awesome. at 20 miles an hour, an it'll blow your hair back. Scooter at 20 miles an hour. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. <laughs> a 20 mile range. And we got them all over the place here, we thanks do. to Eco Rico. We have a whole charging station full of Eco Ricos over here. The editors and chiefs and all of us hosts, we've been riding around town. Actually, not just town, around CES because that's like a, an entire it town. It is an entire town. <laughs> you need one to get around this place. Yes, now. and we're giving away one. We are. Geekbeat.tv slash Eco Rico. Make sure you go find out how to enter that. You are so going to want you could one. Win an Eco Rico. It's it's. Am like, I eligible? I want. No, one. you're not eligible. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for joining in. I'm Callie Lewis. I'm Scott Ellis. Bye. Uh, if you can clip it on the okay. <laughs>